How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review this travel neck pouch. Why do you need something like this? Because if you put your passport in a backpack and if it ever gets stolen, then you're going to be in a lot of hurt trying to get back to your own country. Putting your money, credit cards, and driver's license in your back pocket is going to be prone to pickpocketing. It just comes in a little bag like this. The back is a little soft over here. It has a pouch in the back and two hooks and I think these are for keys. In the top pocket over here, I think you put in money and also there's two tiny pockets inside. I don't know if you can see. You put change in those little pockets. The second pocket's a little smaller. I think you can put credit cards or smart cards for mass transit or whatnot. There's a third pocket over here with no zipper. And then finally, the very front pocket, it seems like they want you to put a license or something with your face on it so you can see through. Finally, on the side here, you put your passport because it is RFID protected. This is from K-City. So here are my various things. I got some Hong Kong currency phone here, my passport, some smart cards for mass transit, and also some foreign currency change. So I'm gonna shove my passport in here. Currency there. Seems like I don't have to fold it. It's just long enough to fit some of the regular size bills. A bunch of change. I wonder if that's gonna be hard to get out. I guess you can get it out. You just gotta shove your hand in there and take out your change. Seal that in there. Bunch of credit cards. I'm gonna put one of these RFID cards. I'm gonna put it on the front because if I'm walking by some machine, I just wanna go and lean towards it and maybe I can activate it without taking the card out. So let's pretend these are credit cards. I just shove them in there. I'm not gonna put anything in this non-zippered one because I don't want things to fall out. And finally, my phone over here. You can stick it right here, but this is starting to get, you know, pretty, pretty heavy here. So I think for me, I prefer to put my phone in my front pocket instead. I don't think it's gonna have too much danger of people stealing that one. And of course, you're not going to stick this right in front of everybody like this. You're gonna want to stick it underneath your shirt. I'm wearing a couple of the layers here, so I'm gonna stick this right next to my skin. You can definitely feel something is inside, and that little soft mesh really helps with you know, not chafing or anything. But if I'm gonna wear more than one layer, I would definitely try to stick this um, in front of at least one layer of shirt here. And then I can definitely feel something tugging on me, so I wanna kinda conceal this around my shirt. Yeah, this feels a lot better if it's going around. Because I know if you go to really hot countries, you're gonna start sweating underneath here and it might not be so comfortable. But for, you know, colder places, um, you can definitely put it right underneath on top of layers. And then you just button it up like this and people won't be able to tell a thing. So if I lean back, yeah, you can see something protruding, but if I'm just standing normally, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. You can't really reach in there and try to steal your stuff. And this is pretty secure. Plenty of people keep hidden pockets around their neck like this and it works. So I probably wouldn't want to keep changing this thing because I tend to not like things weighing on my neck too much. I'm gonna keep the bare necessities, passport, credit cards, and cash in here only, and no coins. If you're interested in one of these from KI City, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I have an audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook, a Patreon over here, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.